June 19th, a word in season to the weary by Brother Bok Singh. For as the body is one, and hath many members, and all the members of that one body, being many, are one body, so also is Christ, 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 12. The Corinthian believers were divided into many groups. They began to call themselves by different names, 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verses 12 and 13. When we call ourselves by different names, such as Baptist, Methodist, Anglican Brethren, Pentecostal and so on, it brings division. We all belong only to Christ. We have no right to be called by any other name. When I applied for a license to solemnize marriages, I was asked, what is your denomination? I answered, the body of Christ. We have no name and no label, we are only Christians. Then the next question was, how many members do you have? I replied, we do not have any membership, we are all equal. We are all one. All are welcome if they are born again. But this oneness must be maintained. By laying on of hands we testify together that we are all one and equal in the sight of God. Whatever education or wealth or position we have, it is only by the grace of God. But by the grace of God I am what I am, and His grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain, but I labored more abundantly than they all, yet not I, but the grace of God which was with me. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 10 Paul the Apostle labored more abundantly than other apostles, only because of the grace of God. If God has given any one of us any gift of teaching or preaching it is only by His grace, we do not deserve it. We are saved by His grace. When we go to heaven we will be rewarded according to our faithfulness, and not according to our gifts. In the early church the enemy brought division between the Jewish and the Gentile converts. We see in Galatians chapter 2 verses 11 to 14, how God had to rebuke even Peter through Paul because he began to make such distinction. In India even among believers we find differences of high caste and low caste. In the same way some Christians believe that one cannot take part in the Holy Communion unless he is confirmed. Such divisions come because of wrong teaching. Those who are born again are one and must remain as one. As believers we should refuse to take part any activity, function or ritual which brings division among God's people.